How do you know you're in a toxic relationship? What are the signs? What are the things to look for? Well, today at queenbeing.com, I'm going to define a toxic relationship for you, and I'm gonna share with you four big signs that you're stuck in one. So, let's get started. My name is Angie Atkinson and on this channel I offer free daily video coaching to help you discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse in toxic relationships. I like to call it toxic relationship rehab. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and we'll just get going. First up, we have to define the toxic relationship. So what exactly is a toxic relationship? Well, to put it quite simply, it's a relationship that is full of negative patterns, different cycles that involve jealousy, control, manipulation, selfishness, and all kinds of other yuckiness. Toxic relationships involve a lot of negative energy, toxic behavior, things that are just going to lead you to find yourself unhappy, miserable. It's when two people are in a relationship and they're sort of stuck together and meshed, and it's not good for either person technically. Some people might call it love addiction or codependence. Whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter because toxic relationships are harmful in so many different ways. And a lot of times toxic relationships will actually lead you into an addiction of another kind just so you can kind of cope with the time that you're dealing with that person. And this is especially true for people who are empaths because they're more sensitive to the world around them and because they're more likely to be concerned about making their partner happy. And when their partner lets them know on a regular basis, hey, I'm not happy, it's a big deal. So a lot of times in toxic relationships, one or both partners might find themselves, you know, clinging to some other substance or, or behavior, developing an additional addiction, just like the one that they have to their partner, that actually helps them kind of numb out and kind of stop feeling the negative feelings that they're getting out of their toxic relationship. There's internal drama within the relationship, there's drama from outside the relationship when we're talking about other people trying to get involved or cheating and all kinds of stuff like this. And bottom line, it sucks the energy right out of anyone involved, especially if you're an empath. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and yet expecting different results. Well, that's really common when you're talking about a toxic relationship. One or both partners might be trying the same thing. Let's talk about it. Let's go to counseling. Let's do this. Let's do that. None of those things work. And yet they keep trying and they don't try anything different. Possibly the worst part of all of this is that very often we don't even recognize that we're in a toxic relationship. And this is true for men and women. So what happens is we continue the cycle. And if, our, if we do have an addiction that comes along with it, guess what? It gets worse. And you might go from being a sweet, caring, loving, thoughtful person who has all kinds of friends and people in their lives and everything is great to somebody who's cold and withdrawn and depressed and unhappy and miserable has no friends. So how do you know if your relationship is toxic? Well, let's talk about it. The first sign that you need to watch for is how you feel. Are you feeling kind of yucky all the time? Are you feeling unhappy, miserable? Do you find yourself just kind of wondering what would life be like with someone else or alone? Is there any verbal abuse in the relationship? Are you getting put down all the time or made fun of? Do you feel like when you hear your partner pull into the driveway that you get a little anxious? Or when you pull into the driveway, does your tummy hurt a little bit? That's the first symptom. If you feel bad a lot, if you feel yucky a lot, you feel miserable or unhappy, you might be in a toxic relationship. The next thing you need to watch for is manipulation. If you're going through a relationship where you're getting tons of manipulation, if every time you turn around there's some game being played, or your partner's trying to control your feelings, or you're trying to control their feelings, or if they get excited you know, you shoot down their happiness or you get excited, they shoot down your happiness. If let's say you discover a new hobby, you just love to paint or something and your partner's like, you're terrible at painting. That's the sign. Anything where partners don't support one another in the relationship or one partner's doing all the supporting and the other one isn't, any kind of manipulation, negativity, that kind of stuff, possibly in a toxic relationship. If you or your partner is constantly feeling jealous or angry or upset about the other partner talking to people of the opposite or same sex, whatever y'all are into, or you're constantly being cheated on or worried about being cheated on or your partner feels like they need to keep control over you all the time because you might cheat on them. Do you, you know, if you get 20 questions every time you walk through the front door, if you feel like you're not allowed to have friends and if you do have friends, your partner must control all the friends. If jealousy is going on anywhere in the relationship and it's a constant problem and, and it's becoming un unhealthy and you're finding yourself feeling restricted by it, it could be a toxic relationship. Jealousy is a straight up poison to any healthy relationship. And number four, 
Are you codependent or is your partner codependent? Do you feel like you can't enjoy your life unless you're connected to your partner? Are you kind of one of those joined at the hips kind of couples and you feel miserable if you're not with them, but then you also feel miserable when you are with them? Do you need every second of your partner's attention or do they need every second of your attention? Do you feel like you're controlling or being controlled? If your partner's not home, do you feel scared or upset or nervous? Is there insecurity running rampant all over that relationship? Is that happening for you? If so, you might be in a toxic relationship. So what can you do if you are in a toxic relationship and how can you know for sure? I'm gonna make this really easy for you. If you answered yes to those questions that I just mentioned, or most of them, you might be in a toxic relationship. I'm gonna share with you some videos on how to deal with being in a toxic relationship and dig into the discovery of it a little more. Knowing it, admitting it, is the first step to fixing it. And if you're with someone who's healthy, and you just kind of got off track a little bit, well, you can fix it. If you are with someone who is a toxic person, as in they might be a narcissist or, or someone with some other disorder, you might have a bigger issue on your hands. If you are in a toxic relationship, this is important information. Make sure you take a look at the videos in the description below and in the cards above because there's going to be more information on how to figure out if you're in a toxic relationship. All right, now it's time for the question of the day. And the question of the day is, do you think you're in a toxic relationship? And if you are, what are you going to do about it? Share your thoughts, your experiences, and your ideas in the comment section below and let's talk about it. That's all I've got for you right now. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. And hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll see you soon. It's my mission to teach others what I know to be true. You really can create the life you want. Take care of your body. Take care of your soul. Nurture the real you and introduce him or her to the world. Be comfortable in your own skin and in your place in this world. Take your spot. Take it now and the universe will take its cue from you. You feel me? If so, subscribe to my channel. Let's get it done together.